Dogecoin is doing pretty well across the crypto market. Will the current rally last, and what will the price point for 2021 be? It's fitting that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been the biggest proponent of Dogecoin all year, as after the crypto's more than 6,000% spike so far in 2021, a $1,000 bet on Dogecoin at the beginning of the year would now be enough to buy you a brand new, straight out of the wrapper Tesla Model Y. This might not be exciting news, unless you're a renewable energy fan who's crazy about high-end electric cars. But it does put into perspective just how much gains you would have made. Basically, Doge is worth an investment, and the returns are definitely evident. On the off chance that you did put down a $1,000 bet on Dogecoin, which was set up back in 2013 as a joke to parody the increasing proliferation of various altcoins, you'd be perched on more than $60,000, thanks to the $0.35 cents market hit this week. Further, at Friday's superb high of $0.43, cents, that $1,000 would be worth nearer to $80,000 now. All that anyone would need to cover the generally $60,000 retail cost of a Model Y. This is certainly great news for anyone who thought to invest in Dogecoin at the beginning of the year, or from before that even. Of course, cars and holidays are fun, but in order to make these gains, people have to invest. It's not unlikely that Doge hits higher all-time highs in 2021 due to a mix of structural drivers such as the inherent preference for cryptos. Let's take the number of people currently invested in cryptocurrencies. According to a report from CH & Co, there are over 52 million cryptocurrency traders across the world. Not only will this number rise in the coming months, the economic recovery as the COVID-19 pandemic abates will equally cause people to diversify, as interest rates are at record lows across more developed economies and investors will be looking for other assets as stores of wealth. Note that there are many private investors across the US and Europe, and based on experience from Bitcoin, it's safe to say that more and more people will actually get into cryptocurrencies. This will cause the price of Doge to rise over the coming sessions and coming months to breach the key resistance level at 60 cents. An even more optimistic estimate, based on the upward trend, continued buzz around the currency, and the implications of monetary policy and regulations on asset classes, could see the currency hit near 80 cents even, or a dollar. Of course, both price forecasts are contingent on developments in the crypto market and the adoption of the currency across different sectors. So why am I bullish on Dogecoin? On a rather bullish note, Doge kept making gains since the beginning of 2021 and broke its key resistance level and hit an all-time high on April 16th. This is groundbreaking, as the currency is already close to hitting 50 cents. There's almost no doubt for Doge to hit higher and perhaps get to a dollar if the right mix of factors emerge on a more lasting basis. Furthermore, Dogecoin will equally benefit from speculation for return on investment. This is something we've discussed in the past, and no one believed Doge could actually rise by 5,000%, but it did, and investors are happy for it. In the Dogecoin subreddit, which as of now boasts more than 1.3 million people, charitable causes are commonplace for Dogecoin users. In 2014, for example, one anonymous party donated what might be valued up to $10,000 in Dogecoin at the time for the Doge for Water movement which was created to raise support for clean drinking water in Kenya. The Dogecoin community similarly sponsored an effort to send Jamaica's bobsled team to the 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi. These kind of charitable acts are very commonplace in the Dogecoin community, and that strong community is one of the advantages and highlights of Dogecoin. In any case, the current fever around Doge is clearly evident in its huge spike. The crypto has risen more than 400% just this week paying little mind to previous setbacks or naysayers. There was the public offering of the crypto exchange Coinbase, which might have affected the market a little, yet the exchange doesn't allow Doge for trading. Disregarding that, the spike had ushered in a tornado of trading activity at specific exchanges that do list Doge, including Robinhood, which said it was seeing phenomenal development in the wake of Dogecoin's rally. Doge keeps moving up, and this tweet from Mark Cuban says it all. Not only is he a celebrity investor, He's equally one of the most prolific names out there that have been watching Doge. If one was going to get timely advice, it had better be from those who have made it, right? When you back up and look at the increments for Dogecoin just in 2021, you can definitely see an uptrend in Doge at present. 
And the question you're probably asking is whether the crypto can get to a dollar. Due to the incredible levels of supply, it is evident that some people are perhaps apprehensive about the currency. But let's not forget that the surge in Dogecoin has happened only because it's seen a great deal of support from the likes of Mark Cuban and Tesla boss Elon Musk. Moreover, very few crypto investors who are not highly liquid can afford Bitcoin. At present, Doge seems like the best bet for a lot of people. Obviously, when we talk about Dogecoin compared to other altcoins, people are scratching their heads since Dogecoin is inflationary. Almost all other cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, are limited in their supply. Not the case with Dogecoin, though. It's an inflationary resource since there's no restriction as far as the number of coins that can be created. Be that as in May, Elon Musk has been talking it up for quite some time, from all the way back in 2019 even. So the promotion is genuine. Perhaps that could be the explanation why we've seen it take off at the present moment. But without the promotion of Elon Musk, it's still highly credible, and the fact that the currency continues to be issued just means that more and more people will have access to it. A democratic cryptocurrency is far more useful than a safe and financially disconnected currency. Countries like Turkey, Russia, and Thailand are skeptical of cryptos. But Doge is different in that it doesn't hold any significant financial stability risks and central banks as well as governments don't have to worry about consumer deposits being used to invest in some expensive currency. So Doge will benefit from regulatory support, and its affordability will definitely support its price reaching the $1 mark. In any case, clearly not quite the same circumstances in comparison to what we're managing here back in the US. However, it's still one of those issues we still need to address whenever we're talking about digital money since it's something that affects a lot of crypto traders. Fortunately, back here at the SEC, we have Gary Gensler on top of that. He's known to be a lot more amiable towards cryptocurrencies in general, and he's also lectured on the topic at MIT, so it's perhaps one thing we don't need to stress over here in the US. That being said, there are several reasons why Doge will outperform in the coming months, and the last sessions have been a litmus test for how to balance greater supply and continued demand. There's every reason for one to be optimistic about Doge. Whether you're a novice or a crypto expert, Doge is what will enable you to invest in digital assets in a manner that doesn't cost you huge sums while ensuring decent gains over the long run, and adoption of the currency on a much wider scale. As we get into mid-year, economies will reopen and consumer incomes will grow, enabling them to diversify their investments across a range of asset classes. But just as a pro tip, guys, I would advise that you guys don't complicate your trading plans. Stick to the same basic rules and understandings. We've been following the same trading plan for cryptocurrencies for a while now, and it's always worked out. We're going to be putting together a course on trading and how to cost into these markets. So if you're new to these markets and want to learn more about how to become profitable, be sure to sign up once the course is out. We will, of course, let you know as soon as that happens, so keep your ears to the ground.